Namaste guys, in this video, we are going to make this awesome motion graphic many black animation in Blender. So let's start. Just you know that I got a lot of requests that make this and I am making it right now. So I have a request, please share this video as it motivates me to create more and better contents. Okay, so let's see how to approach this. So first select this default view, click on new. Now let's uh, uh, remove this. Now first thing that I want, I want two lines, uh, y axis, z axis. Okay. After that, uh, when we made with x, uh, y and z, then I will work on x axis. Let's see. So what I can do is shift A and add curve line. Connect to the geometry. So you can see this is my curve line. Now, as I told you earlier, that first I will make on y axis so to make y axis i will uh, define two points let's see so first make z zero uh, let's make y uh, negative three to three so y starting point is negative three okay so this point is negative three this is zero and i will make it to negative three to three so total end is what six okay after that i will add a resample curve don't worry who don't know why it is there i will tell you that onwards after that i will make instance on points uh, instance on point remember instance on point not instances instance on points add it here now select this press shift d again but this time uh, make it zero zero uh, this time make it along z axis and make it uh, 0.5 sorry negative 0.5 to 0.5 now connect this instance so you can see this right now so as you can see it's quite big so let's make it uh, negative 0.2 and 0.2 but i can't able to see the line so what i have to do is press shift a and add Join geometry. Add this and add this line to here. Now I can see the line. Now, what is the purpose of this resample curve? Now, watch carefully. If I decrease the number of count, notice that uh, the number of instances will decrease. So, you will add as per your requirement to increase or decrease the number of instances as per your graph. I hope it's clear your doubt. Now, I also want on z axis. So how can I do it? So we will do some lazy work. So what I will do, I will add shift A, uh, type transform geometry, connect this to geometry and I will rotate along how much? Along X axis to 90 degree. So enter X 90, select this, press shift D, combine all this. Hey, now I got this, looks good. Now I want something on x axis, but on x axis it will start from 0 and goes up to 10, or you can say 6 or 7, it's up to you. So, how can I make it? Let's see. So, first I will select these two, press Shift D and move it here. So, this one make it 0, and this is start from the starting point is 0, and end point is let's say uh, 10 meter. You can choose as per your requirement. Make sure others are zero. After that, what I want, uh, basically, select these two, Shift D, and put this curve here. Select this join geometry, Shift D, join geometry, and join this two here. Notice it's showing great, but the line is not showing. So connect this line to here. And there's one more issue. It is more, you know, the space is less, but the space is more here. So what I can do? So let's say lengthwise. So 0.5 meter. Length 
so what is i'm doing so i'm saying hey that there will be instance at every 0.5 meter instead of you know just dividing the line equally so every 0.5 meter there will be instance hey that looks great now what the issue is that these are so just lines nothing else and there is no thickness to it so what i can do so press shift a type curve to mesh curve to mesh Correct this. Click on profile curve. Type circle mesh. Click on fill caps. Uh, some reason not curve to mesh. Okay. Okay. Not mesh circle. As you can see, set profile curve. So you need to add curve circle and make sure choose curve circle. Hey, start looking. Okay, but it's quite big. So what I can do first decrease the diameter. So let's make it 0 0.05. Still big. So 0 0.01. I think this much is fine. Looks good to me. And this looks quite big. So let's make it smaller. So this is the one negative point one and point one and do the step here as well negative point one point one so in that way we have created the x y and z active now let's give them some color so if you watch my previous video they are our you know white color so i will add shift a material uh, set material connect this symmetry there is no material here so i will go here and so this is default material add it and emission make it one so if i go here and look so this is how it looks like right so i will go to the layout so this is how it look like in the render mode and you can also make viewport dark hey looks pretty good now how can i make the helix uh, that you saw guys so one way is that you use geometry nodes to make the helix as well but that is a time consuming and a long process so i don't want it so we will use smart way so i will go curve and curve spiral click on logarithm go here watch carefully what i'm doing so first thing i will rotate along y axis a question comes to your mind how i know which axis is uh, which axis is which uh, notice this green, green line green line represented by y axis red line represented by x axis blue line represented by z axis by default blue line is invisible so I am going to rotate about y axis 90 degree. So y 90 degree, right? And I want some height. So you can give it a height as per your requirement. Let's say 2 meter. Increase the number of turns. Let's make it less. I think this much is fine. And what I will do next is uh, increase the steps to you know make it look more better quality so this is how it look like select this curve go here geometry and click on roundabout type 0 0.01 looks good to me select this and give it a material so let's say it's so in this case let's select the you know red color to make it a little bit different and give it a one emission so this is how it looks like great so this is how it looks like in final render as well now how can i animate all these things that's the main thing that's why you guys are over here plus the modeling part so to animate it's quite simple and easy as well so what i can do right now is uh, select this Go to the geometry nodes. Move this time by time uh, 
timeline, whatever this is called, I forgot the name. So go to the frame 10 or frame 0, frame 1 is fine. Now what I will do, uh, go to the frame 50, type press I and I. If you are using Blender version 4.2, then you need to might press K. So look as uh, for the other requirements. Now type 0 and type 0 okay and make sure that you press i on both sides so this is how it look like great and after 50 uh, i will go to the frame 80 and press i i go to the frame 60 make it 0 0 press i i so this is how it look like looks great 80 after i will go to the frame uh, 100 and let's say 110 instead of 10 meter because you know it's look quite big let's reduce its height length let's say 7 is fine okay looks good now press i and i will go to the frame 90 make it 0 press i Good. and I will go to the frame 140 press I I go to the frame 125 make it 0 0 as well press I I and I think that 140 finish so I will go to the frame uh, 180 Select this, go over here in geometry and start ending mapping. Okay, this one. So I will click on here and I will go to the frame 160, make it zero. Click on it. Now let's look at the animation layout. And I think it's, everything is done is in between 200 seconds. So I will go back and play. Looks good, right? So in that way, you can create something like many line animation in Blender. And I hope you guys learned something from this video. If you have any kind of doubt and queries, feel free to ask. And please share this video because you, most of you guys, are requesting a lot of time. So have some mercy. Share this video as it motivates to create better contents. And if you want the project file, you can download it. Link in description. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Namaste.